Hey guys, happy Saturday. I hope you guys are doing well on today. I'm doing pretty good today. I'm a little tired. I'm a little sleepy this morning, but um, I had something to do this morning, but before I left to go and do what I needed to do, today is my grandfather's birthday. So I surprised him with um, some balloons today. He's not a big balloon person, but I wanted him to have balloons. And I got him a card. I always get him a card. And I got some barbecue, which is the clip that you guys saw before this. Um, my grandfather loves barbecue. Try to get him some barbecue, like on you know special occasion or something like that so today is his birthday he hasn't had any barbecue in a while so I um, came to this new place this is a new place that I'm trying out hopefully they're good I, I, I saw a friend of mine posted about it so I was like oh the next time I go and get some barbecue for me and my grandfather I'm gonna check check this place out it smells good so hopefully it's good I got a couple errands to run so I'm just getting ready to run to Walmart really quickly and pick up a few things I feel like I need a nap and I'm gonna give you one today so I'm like a little kid. I got to have my nap. I got to have me a nap now. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to jump off of here and I'll talk to you guys a little bit later. you guys are doing well on today it's me happy Sunday I have pulled myself together y'all and curled my hair a little bit and I am at a visiting church today um, of my friend Carol you guys know Carol you've seen Carol her husband is a pastor so he is um, I guess preacher at this church today so she invited me to come so I am here um, so, um, I don't know if she's here though. I don't know if they're here. I don't see any cars and nothing like that for real. So, but anyway, I hope you guys have been doing well. I've been doing pretty good. Um, it has gotten cold here. Y'all see I got on my chinchilla today. <laughs> it has gotten cold here in the shy. Woof. But I got on my little dress today. I got on my dress from Discovery, the black and, the black and blue one. And um, so yeah, and I just threw this on today, my little faux fur, because <laughs> I just felt like it was appropriate. So I'm just getting ready to um, go into the church in a few minutes. I did do a light beat today. I did use my Sephora Pro Palette, the neutral palette. And um, so yeah, it came out pretty. And I used this lipstick. This is from Flower Beauty, I think it is. It's called. I'll put the name on the um, on the screen or in the description. But it's from the Dollar Tree. I think I picked this up. I, I thought I hauled this for you guys, but I think that's the footage that you guys never got a chance to see because I accidentally deleted it. But yeah, I got this lipstick from the Dollar Tree, and I really like it. It's really pretty, and so I'm wearing it. I think it's my second time wearing it. And uh, yeah. 
So this is just what I'm looking like today. I have on my Chelsea boots because I didn't feel like putting on no heels today. So I did get a chance to cook breakfast this morning. I wanted to make breakfast for my grandfather yesterday for his birthday, but I didn't get a chance to. So I made breakfast today. So we had potatoes and onions uh, from Trader Joe's. And then I cut up, kind of sauteed some andouille sausage. And then I added them over into the potatoes and onions and scrambled some eggs and made some toast and had some had an apple for breakfast so it was really really good and i am gonna try this i saw this i've been finding a lot of really good recipes on instagram but i saw this lady she had made some french toast bites i guess out of the hawaiian roll she just cut them up and uh I, i'm gonna actually try that because i have been craving some french toast i don't know when i'm gonna make it but at some point I am going to make it. What I'm learning about myself is that I do like to cook. I like to find new recipes. I like to try out different foods and stuff like that. And I really enjoy cooking for my family. But anyway, um, it's 1055. Let me get on about get on out this car because I think they service start at 11. Yeah, I guess I will talk to you guys when I get out. Okay, guys. Um, I just came out of... Maya, I'm going to quickly show you guys what I got. They had quite a few things that I wanted like months ago. I didn't even think to check Maya, but they had it in there. So, I got some Frosted Flakes for Grandpa. They had all of the Catalina things in there. So, um, I wanted to try this months ago. These are the Catalina Crunch. These are keto-friendly, the chocolate mint sandwich cookies. Uh, I wanted to try these. They had chocolate mint, chocolate vanilla, and peanut butter, I think. So I want to give the chocolate mint a try. And they also had um, some of the cereal in there. I thought this would just be a good for a snack. But they, have, they had the um, cinnamon toast cereal, and then they had the chocolate peanut butter. So I just got one of each. And then, what else did I get? <clears throat> I really came because I'm making some steak today, but I don't feel like making any sides. So I got some macaroni salad and I got some baked beans. Saw this in there. I wanted to try this. This is the Raymond Tokyo style chicken. It has fresh Asian inspired vegetables with chicken flavored broth, Raymond noodles, and seaweed. This is how it looks. So I wanted to give that a try. And then the last thing that I got out of there is these townhouse pita chips in sea salt. They had the Mediterranean, I think it's the Mediterranean blend or something like that. I wanted to try that one, but that was the last box and I was like, no. So I, I just got the sea salt. I have some tzatziki sauce. So um, I wanted some pita chips to go with that. So yeah, that's everything that I picked up from Meyer. Hey guys, hope you guys are doing well today. Happy Monday. I ran a few errands yesterday. Was it yesterday? Mm, I did. I mean, I went out to Meyer yesterday, but I, well, I'm thinking of Saturday. I ran out to Walmart and Dollar Tree. I had to, to take something back to Walmart. Um, I had to return it because it was open. So I'm going to just get ready to show you guys what I picked up from Walmart and what I picked up from Dollar Tree. So the first thing um, I used this last night that I picked up from Walmart is the Dr. Teal's Moisturizing Bath and Body Oil. I picked this up because I could not find my Shea, I think it's the Shea Butter Oil, and I couldn't find that. I saw this, and this is in uh, melatonin, and it just says sweet almond oil, cocoa butter, and jojoba oil. Uh, I do like their melatonin products. I do have this in the pillow spray and I have this in the body scrub and I really like it. So I knew that I was probably going to like this. So I used it last night. I really do like it. I picked up another periodontics toothpaste and this again is what my dentist recommends for me. So that's what I use. And then I needed to pick up some more Listerine. I like the Listerine Total Care. And I also picked up a candle from them. Again, this candle was a little bit more pricey than I would have liked to have spent. But I do like the scent of this. This is the Allswell Embrace, which it which has vanilla, sugarcane, and almond in it. So this is how it looks. 
it smells really nice it's not like a overpowering type of candle it's really subtle so I have been looking for my jade citrus tea I think it's the jade citrus mint tea that I get from Walmart it's by Tiavana and it's the the tea that they would always give me like hot tea at Starbucks when I would order it and they have now discontinued that tea y'all and I'm so sad because I'm like what am I supposed to do so while I was in Walmart I was looking up some dupes for that tea and it came up with this one this is by Stash has anybody tried the Stash teas it's the double bergamot earl gray and it's supposed to have that like citrus flavor, but it's supposed to have vanilla and something else in it. But they said this is a dupe for that jade citrus mint tea. Hopefully, I will like this. So I will keep you guys posted on this. And then the last thing that I picked up, which surprisingly they had some of these in there. This is also the item that I had to return. It is the TPH, the Taraji P. Henson Body Butter in Vanilla and Tuberose. I love the scent of this. They had some in there. They have been out of this for quite some time. I had to return this because someone had, um, I didn't realize it until I got home that someone had opened it. They removed the seal and they had scraped in it. I hate when people do that. I hate it. So I had to make sure that the seal is on here. So if you buy this product, make sure that the seal is on here and that nobody has used your product. Before I show you guys what I got from Dollar Tree, I think I mentioned this book to you guys. It's a good book that a friend of mine has mentioned to me and it's called Prayer, The Great Adventure by David Jeremiah. If you're somebody that is trying to enhance your prayer life, and I feel like we all can enhance our prayer lives at least for me i know my prayer life can be enhanced this book right here it's absolutely amazing and i mean the way that he breaks down certain things in this book i just think this is a really really good book i've been reading this i'm already on chapter four really really been enjoying this book so let's get into dollar tree so dollar tree i think i sh showed a clip of me being in there they already got Christmas stuff out y'all we can't even get to, through Halloween before we get to the Christmas stuff but that ain't stop your girl so I did pick up one ornament out of there I thought this was really cute so I picked this up to put on the tree I saw these in the Dollar Tree as well these are shoe charms that they have now I own now I have two pair of Crocs they're not like the standard Crocs um, I have these Crocs, which you can see I have one gibbet or gibbet in there. But I do want to get some more Crocs. I actually want some Crocs similar to this, but that has the fur in it. I think that would be really cute. And then you can put like little, you know, charms and stuff like that on your shoes. Um, the other Crocs that I have, they are like sandals. Really cute. I really don't wear those that often, but they're really cute. But anyway, I saw these charms in there. I got these the last time I was in there. I don't know if I showed you guys. Definitely pick these up. Then I also picked up some fruities. Y'all, I love fruities. I love, love fruities. So when I see these in there, I buy them. I wanted another crossword puzzle, um, but this one is Bible Word Finds. So I picked this one up. I picked up some more masks. I picked up this essentially ageless collagen nourishing moisturizer it has niacinamide and vitamin e i was interested in seeing this they had one for nighttime as well but i have a nighttime moisturizer i did buy a welch's fruit punch i'm pretty much almost done with that i was thirsty and the last two things that i got out of there i picked up this bolero hydrating Girl, I got the wrong thing. I'm going to have to exchange this. Okay, and the last thing that I got out of there was this um, this Beauty Puff. It's in purple. I thought this was so cute. So I wanted to give this a try. Let me see if I can open it for you guys. Hey, guys. It is Wednesday, e Wednesday night. I hope you guys are doing well on today. I am doing pretty good. I just quickly wanted to show you guys some things that I picked up today from Target. I had to run in Target. Got something from TJ Maxx that I wasn't expecting uh, um, to even see. 
and I had to return something or actually exchange something at the Dollar Tree and I actually ended up um, forgetting to show you guys two items that I picked up so I want to show you guys that and I think oh and then I have something from Amazon still waiting on one book from Amazon but that's probably probably not going to be here until now the end of October very big beginning of November which they originally told me it would be here by Friday which would be October the 13th so that sucks I'll start with what I got from Amazon first um, I actually saw this book on you know how you scroll on Instagram and you see the ads that they have for different stores well five below had an ad and they were kind of showing like things that they have online or in store and I saw this particular book and I thought that it would be a really good book for me for next year because that's when I'm going to implement this next year and um, when I went in store they didn't have it in store so I went back on their website and you, I could purchase it online for five dollars but with shipping and all of that it came out to like thirteen dollars for a five dollar book and I was like let me just see if I can find it on Amazon so I did I found the book for like seven eight bucks and so I ordered it so the book is the Bible in 52 weeks a year-long Bible study for women by Dr. Kimberly D. Moore. This is the book and I thought this would be really good because I do read my Bible throughout the year but I have not read the entire Bible so I felt like this would be really good for me to um, to have and to do and implement for um, 2024. I really like how this is really laid out yeah i'm really really excited to have this and to do this for 2024 let's talk dollar tree because like i said i had I, it was two items that i forgot to show you guys on yesterday or the day before yesterday and it was an item in there that i needed to um exchange and i'm looking for it because i used it tonight actually the item that i went to exchange because i bought the wrong thing it's by Bolero. It's their hydrating foam and cleanser. This is in hibiscus flower plus coconut. This is not bad. I did use this tonight. And yeah, this is not bad at all. This is how it looks. I originally bought the hydrating face cream or night cream and I didn't want that. So this is what I wanted. So I went back and exchanged it for this. And I also picked up this cooling facial roller. This is by Be Pure. It's supposed to help reduce redness and puffiness, um, which I don't really get a lot of redness or um, I, I guess I would use it more for puffiness even though I don't really get a lot of that either. Um, but I just thought that I would pick this up and give it a try this is what it looks like and then the last two things are highlighters that I picked up by Ioni oh I picked up the golden glow highlighter and then I picked up the gold glam highlighter this is how the packaging looks for both this is golden glow how that looks really pretty this one is gold glam so here they are both together and I'm going to swatch them both. Okay, so this is Golden Glam and this is Golden Glow. So they're both really pretty and pigmented, so I can't wait to try these out. Okay, TJ Maxx. So I picked up, oh my goodness, I was not planning to get this at all, but it was right in my face and it was marked down and I picked it up. So I saw this, I, I wanna say Brie Marie, she actually did a, a makeup look with this palette and I loved her makeup look and I absolutely love the palette but I was like, I'm not I'm not going to buy that. I'm not, I'm not buying it. <laughs> I don't need nothing else. You know, you be trying to tell you something, you don't need nothing else. But it was just such a beautiful palette and then I, I've seen some of the girlies on TikTok using this palette. Again, I'm like, I'm not picking it up. I'm not going to get it. But I saw this in TJ Maxx and there was right in my face and it wasn't broken up or anything and it was marked down and that is the Glam Light Barbie Dream Summer Palette. 
I mean, this was absolutely gorgeous. I paid $16 for it, so I was really happy to see it there. But these are the colors here. Brie Marie, she did a makeup look with this palette. I would try to leave her um, her information down below if you guys, you know, are you're looking for somebody new to watch. I love her channel. Okay, let's do Target because I, I really didn't get much out of it. I really went in there for these pads because I needed some more pads. I typically use Honey Pot, the Honey Pot brand for my needs, but this time, you know, they didn't have the ones that I liked. So I was like, let me just go ahead and get these. I think I've had these before though. I think I've tried these before. Um, so these are not bad. So I just I just picked these up. You get 42 in here, so I needed these. I really was looking for the hot chocolate cups that I had last year. Those cups were really cute. And so I'm hoping that Target will have them at some point. But I found these cups in there four of these in here i felt like these would be good for my hot chocolate or my teas cute black and white cups these were one dollar picked up some vaseline because i'm running low this is the cocoa butter vaseline i really really like the cocoa butter vaseline ever since they've come out with the cocoa butter vaseline i just do not buy regular vaseline anymore it has to have cocoa butter i wanted to check out this telescopic lip mascara by l'oreal this is in black i wanted to see what this was going to do for my lashes this was the most expensive thing that i bought out of target because this was 10 11 dollars or something like that this is more than my pad so <laughs> and the last thing that i got this is the eos 24 hour moisture super bomb i have mine in coconut milk and honey apple i thought this was pretty neat i'm always looking for a balm for my lips so i thought that i would pick this up i just quickly wanted to jump on here because i did get my mac order and I just wanted to show you guys what I picked up. I think I mentioned this a couple of days ago that I was waiting for this to come. Mac had 30% off. That's typically when I kind of try to shop Mac. This is literally how my package came. So the first item I got is this lip glass in Oh Baby. Which is really pretty. I'm going to go ahead and swatch it for you guys. I only got two items out of there. I saw someone on TikTok with this combo and it, it looks really pretty and I was like, I have to have that. It's just so gorgeous. Um, and then the last thing I picked up from MAC is one of their Luster Glass Lipsticks. And I picked this one up in Succumb to Plum. I like this packaging. I don't know if I've seen MAC's packaging like this. Um, it's typically like the matte black, but this one is kind of shiny. So I like that. This is the color here. I'm going to swatch it that's the color there i thought it was just so gorgeous so cannot wait to wear this um also i wanted to share with you guys that i did pick up some crocs today i ended up seeing just the regular crocs with the fur inside in the silver color and i thought these were cute i had to size up in this because the size nine for these were too tight for me so i had to size up to a 10 because crocs does not do have sizes yeah these to me run run small so i had to size up but i really really like these i am gonna buy me some more um charms for these but i can at least start with some of the charms that i got from dollar tree yeah hey guys it is later on Friday and um, I'm dressed, <laughs> looking a little better now. Let me see if I can cut this light on for you guys. Dolled myself up just a teach. I am on my way to, <clears throat> excuse me, I'm on my way to the game night at my church tonight. Sounds like some fun on a Friday. I got on my, what does it say? Goodness, goodness and mercy shirt. I don't know if y'all can see that. Y'all see my shirt? says goodness and mercy y'all probably can't see that yep i use my bobby brown eyeshadow palette tonight i forget the name of it i'll have to add it on the screen but it's my bobby brown palette that i picked up from nordstrom's rack was it last year it may have been last year i don't know it could have been a year before last but i love that palette and um 
haven't used it in a while, so I thought I would use it tonight. Yeah. 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 The food was good. <laughs> <laughs> this in there, Side and five. They didn't have to three minutes to go in. to update you guys on my evening i show i vlog just a little bit so i wanted to show you guys but i'm gonna jump off of here because the police is behind me so i'll talk Morning, to you guys happy sunday hope you guys are doing well on today i am doing pretty good today it's been uh one of those weeks for me but uh a good week ne never to say the less um yeah it's been one of those weeks um grateful to see the weekend but of course the weekend always comes to an end really really short today i am here i'm at church uh did join in for sunday school today i um have plenty to do after service i'm actually gonna be making some spaghetti today i've had a taste for like spaghetti and roast uh i was gonna do the roast today but then i'm like oh but then i'm like let me go ahead and do some spaghetti because i could really go for some spaghetti so sunday's dinner today is gonna be spaghetti corn on the cob and just a side salad so i thought that sounded pretty good um and i do need to do some cleaning today y'all i need to i just need to do some cleaning today um haven't had a video for you guys i'm gonna see what this footage is looking like may just go ahead and put a vlog up um i'm just real simple today for church y'all this is my jacket that i bought last year i do believe from discovery but i do have on my let me see but I do have on my Barbie sweatshirt this morning. I'm real casual today, y'all. I got on a Barbie sweat, my Barbie sweatshirt, and then I just have on a denim skirt with some high boots. So yeah, I'm just real casual today. I didn't feel like getting all glam girled up. Anyway, I'm gonna jump, go ahead and jump on off of here, and I will talk to you guys a little bit later. Okay, guys, dinner is done. I made some spaghetti, some corn on the cob. We got a nice Caesar salad with some bacon in there and um, some garlic bread. And I'm gonna have, today I'm actually gonna have something I haven't had in a while. I'm getting ready to show it to you. Getting ready to have either the cream soda Olipop or I'm getting ready to have the vintage cola Olipop. I think I'm gonna do the vintage cola because that's kind of what I have a taste for. So I cut down on these when I was having issues with GERD, but I had a taste for one. So I saw the cream soda one in there, so I thought I would try that one. And then I saw, of course, the vintage cola, so I wanted to get this one. And I'm gonna be drinking it out of my wine glass tonight <laughs> because I wanna feel fancy. 